How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. I wanted to demonstrate a new video on how to create typicals in Acubid and how you can multiply them out. And this is really great if you got brand new high rises or you got a brand new hospital with typical rooms, or, you know, thousands of rooms and whatnot. Uh, this is a, a quick way to do one room and then you can multiply them out. All you got to do is count the rooms, add the counts, and you're good to go. Any changes, especially using life count, you make one change, it makes it to all the rooms all at once. Let's get started. Okay, first off, you can do this two different ways. I prefer to do it in area, but in your area, you want to click the area button and then in this case I have a sample drawing that we're gonna do called a bunk and then we're also gonna do another area called the chief's office and we're gonna say there's three D's for demonstration purposes so first thing we do we're gonna do bunks and then we're gonna say this is the chief's Chief's office. Okay. Now, if anybody ever wondered what this typical button is, <laughs> if you click the typical button, you're going to see a typical area description and then those area descriptions you see here. So, what you do here is type in the name of the area that you want to do. So, we're calling this the bunk. And then we're calling this one the chief office and what you're gonna see is if you select this one you're able to put how many times this bunk is shown up in the whole entire bit so let's hold off right here we'll jump to the drawing I'll show you how this works alright got the drawing uh, we're gonna assign this to uh, I, I jumped ahead sorry once you do that, you're going to have this typical button here. So you're going to want to click the typical bunk. Make sure whatever you're taking off is assigned to the correct system and category. So we'll do common assemblies. We'll do the receptacles. Okay. All right. So remember, we're only doing one of these. We're going to take that off. Hit OK. Then we're going to say that's a USB, so do USB, we'll take that one off, let's change the color really quick, okay, alright, hit OK. Alright, if you noticed, these have changed to green, so in, in Acubid, th this means that this has a count to it so it's basically it's multiplying everything you're doing in live count or or manually and what you do is now if you have let's go back to our drawings we have one two three four five six bunks that are all typical we go back into our typical up here bunks we hit bunks, so where there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, six bunks. Close. The tricky thing about the program is it's it doesn't show you that it's multiplying it out, but it is. So, in order to see that it's actually doing it, we count it one receptacle and one USB. So if we go in this extension. You now see six receptacles, six USBs. So it multiplied everything out in the whole drawing. You could do this for endless rooms, size rooms, and, and, and like I said, this is the, the most important tool if you're bidding high rises, um, hospital work with patient rooms, infusion rooms. Uh, you might have classrooms and uh, maybe 
K-12 or university that are all typical this is an excellent tool to use and it's fantastic you can create an unlimited amount of typicals but if you follow this step you, any kind of addendum that will come out no problem overlay do it and you're good to go so l let's say there there was a an addendum let's give an example uh, we got an example this is we're not changing accounts accounts is already done so we'll go back to our drawing and we're gonna say that in the addendum now they want a duplex on this wall as well so we'll add this we're gonna add a duplex and we're gonna say that be you know on the other end too and you know for giggles let's we'll put another one over here so now we have one two three we have three duplexes and two USBs we do not have to do anything over here because it is already done you already added your new counts those are addendum changes we did not change the number of bunks so it's multiplying this out for us so now if we go in here into extension you see now you have 18 receptacles duplex receptacles and 12 USB receptacles all done for you you don't have to go back to 100 different drawings to retake this off it's all done for you once again this is Alfred CEO president New Age Electric um, I always love to help people out leave some comments always shoot me shoot me an email if you ever can and uh, thanks for watching